Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the different ways of handling new recordings that overlap existing items in Reaper. I have a new project here where I want to record some piano. Let's make a new track. We'll name it Piano. I'll set up the input right here to stereo and where I plugged in my piano mics, piano left and piano right. Turn on input monitoring so we can hear the piano as we record. Let's give it a color, something like this and go into record. And now we can record a piano part. Sounds good. Now if we record on top of this, by default, it's gonna create new takes like this. So you have two takes of our piano. Take one right here and take two. And we could switch it by hitting the T key to go back and forth. And we could hear each one one at a time. And we're happy with one of the takes. We could just right click it, go to take and choose crop to active take. And that's going to remove the other take, just keeping the one that we want. And if we punch in, it's also going to create takes. Let's first switch the monitoring mode by right clicking over here. And let's switch it to tape auto style. This way we only hear the piano when we punch in, like this. And notice Reaper creates a separate take just for that punch. Once again, we could switch it by hitting the T key or just clicking on each take. And once we're happy with the take we chose, just right click, go to take, crop to active take, and it removes all the unwanted takes. But you might not want to work with takes, and we don't have to. Let's delete all this, and instead, let's go to the Options menu, under the section, New Recording That Overlaps Existing Items, and switch it from the default, which splits existing items and creates new takes. And instead we'll choose Trims Existing Items Behind New Recording, or Tape Mode. And if we choose this, and record the piano, And if we record over it, it doesn't create takes. Instead, it just replaces the previous one. So it's not underneath this performance, it's removed. Although, we can still undo and go back to it, or redo to go back to this one, but we can't switch back and forth like you would with takes. So you want to use this mode if you're sure you want to replace the last recording. And it works the same way for punching. Let's punch in in this mode. Now we have a punch just right here, but we don't have different takes to choose from. It just replaced that piece of audio. Again, we can undo it, to go back, but working this way makes a lot more sense if you know you want to punch in and replace the previous audio. And we can adjust the punch by holding down shift and moving it around to get our punch ins and punch outs perfect. So this is another way of working, but there's one other option we can use. Let's delete all this, 
Go to the Options menu under the same section, and this time choose Creates New Media Items in Separate Lanes or Layers. So let's choose this. And now we can record or layer multiple performances and they'll all play back at the same time. So we're basically layering different parts, but all on the same track. Now, when you use this mode, we should go to the project settings first, go to advanced, and change the item mix behavior to items always mix. This way, multiple items on one track will all be heard. And for monitoring, let's right click over here and turn on monitor track media when recording. This way, we can hear what's on the track when we're adding to it. So let's record the first piano part. And now I'll put another one on top of it just by recording again. And now instead of having two different takes, we have two different performances that are layered. So we can hear them both at the same time. We can mute the first one, or the second one, Now let's record a third one. And now we have three performances that are all gonna play on the same track. So it's great for layering multiple parts, like piano, background vocals, horns, or any multiple parts you want on the same track. So Reaper gives us three different ways to work. We could use takes, we could replace the audio, or we could layer it on top of each other. But that's pretty much it. That's the different ways of handling new recordings that overlap existing items in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom!